Referee Fred Griswold calls the fighters to center ring for last minute instruction. <clears throat> Round number one, here we go. Jason Moss takes center of the ring. Both men started the exchange, both throwing leg kicks. Beautiful side to side lateral movement by Manuel. Oh, big duck under looping left hand from Manuel lands square on the chin of Jason Moss. Manuel explodes again, shoved off. Manuel seems to be very elusive. His head movement is like fighting a King Cobra out there. Left and right, left and right. Manuel steps in, huge body shot. Both men exchange, separate, back to center. Jason Moss lands a nice lead hook. Jason Moss times the head movement and lands two giant shots. Coming in swinging, we are throwing leather here. I am being joined at the commentary table by Professor Ray Lopez of NOLA MMA. I don't know if uh, my, my set is on. It's on, brother. Ah, there we go. Now I can hear myself. How's it going, sir? It's always good to sit next to you. Always good to watch some great fights. It's always good to have you here, man. We have a... Nice contested fats between Manuel Freiter and Jason Moss. And as soon as I sit down, I see these boys are slinging some Oh, leather. they are throwing. That was a beautiful first round, beautiful technique. Here we go. Corners are out. Referee Fred Griswold is calling for action. Here we go. Round number two. The head, the side to side head movement by Manuel is absolutely impressive. Because Moss is trying to stick that jab right down the middle. Now Moss caught him, timed it out at, at the end of the second round, I mean, into the first round and tagged him. Now I'd like to see that a la Mike Tyson roll. I'd love to see Fretes maybe throw something off these slips, maybe start working the body and coming upstairs. Hey, exactly. Being that he's a little bit outsized here. It's always good to go to the body, and once you can touch the body, then you can go upstairs to the head. The pace has slowed considerably to the start of round number two. I'd like to see them take the center of the ring. I feel like if Jason peels the other way, he, he, he's starting to peel the same way every time Manuel closes that distance, yes. as you see. I feel like if he peels that other way, you could probably catch him with that trailing hook. It looks like he's loading up his jab a little bit more this time, as opposed to letting it come out right from where his hands are. And now the distance is not becoming as much as a factor in the second round. Yeah, Manuel is the smaller fighter, but he has been able to get inside almost at will. Great footwork. Oh, pins Jason Moss up against the ropes. The shove away. Manuel is back on him. 
Great footwork for Manuel in there, not to come out of his stance and push him right into the corner and keep himself able to swing. Seeing the fatigue maybe set in a little bit. Moss's hands are way lower in this round than they were in the first round. Big deep breath for Manuel in the middle of the round. Oh, uh, oh, big shot from Jason Wilder-esque. Almost with that baseball punch. Manuel has a chin. Nice slip. I'll tell you what, if Manuel starts throwing that overhand, it's going to start landing because that front hand of Moss is very, very low. And to say this is a debut uh, fight for both men in combat sports. Both look very seasoned. I will tell you, in the last five years, we have seen debut fighters look completely differently than we started in the game. These kids are trained. They know what to do. The coaching is at just a higher level. They're coming in with full training camps. Very few independent fighters these days. Very, very few. Jason Moss with the walk-off, catches him with a jab as he comes rushing in. Jason seems to be wanting to stay at the end of those punches now. He seems to be backing up a little bit as well. Now he's coming forward. Here we go. Nice jab lead hook combination. And now Big they're trading. exchange. Oh, Way man. to end the round. That rip and slip by Jason Moss. He might have stole the round with he that. He might have stolen the end of the round with that. You know, you see those older Final fighters round. take those younger fighters under the wing and kind of give them that confidence and give them those kind of tricks and kind of almost adopt them in the gym and, and, and step into that big brother role in a way. And, and that does wonders for these young guys. And they're just coming out looking so much better. And, and every time, it's incredible. It's impressive. Big overhand. This fight is going to be very, got to be very close on the scorecards. I'm glad I am not a judge tonight. I have Moss very, very slightly ahead. I think he's landed the harder shots. I've seen him land a couple overhands. Oh! Manuel stumbles again. Jason's, that jab on Jason Moss is stiff as a shot of And whiskey. he's throwing it very, very oh, hard. I'd like whips to see head, him whips double Manuel's up head on back. it a little bit more. Double and triple up. It's such a good weapon for him. Yes. Oh, nice feint. Beautiful body shot. Manuel has definitely slowed down tremendously, and he needs to step on the gas here with only about two minutes left in his third and final round. It costs a lot as a smaller fighter to work your way inside. You usually have to use a lot more footwork. You have to eat some shit on the way in, and it's, you know, it's kind of hard to, to, to keep that pace up and keep that, that determination and that grit to take those shots and keep moving forward. You know, you're seeing the head movement kind of dissipate a little bit. It's oh. not as sharp. His head is still on the center line. The arms are a little bit lower. And that's the thing about fighting, man. You, you really don't know what you got to work on until you get you some fights under your belt because fighting is definitely on-the-job training. A hundred percent. He's figuring out right now what works, what don't work. And that's where you see those special guys kind of kind of leap off the page to you a little bit where they can have two or three fights and they start getting comfortable and they start opening up and you see them really find themselves. And, you know, it does take most fighters – four, five, six fights to get there. Jason Moss is definitely, the confidence is there now. One minute left in this fight. I he think is sitting he down on those punches. Away. He's standing, oh. Good head movement. You see him bait. Shake, trying to shake his head. He's Roy Jones-esque. Will. He's willing himself Big forward. Breath. Let's go. Big breath from Freitas. This is what Jason Moss needs to be circling right now. Put the leather on him. Both men kind of wait and see. Yeah, very lackadaisical in this third round. I think both men are extremely gassed. About 20 seconds left here in this third and final round. Oh, nice overhand from Moss. And Moss is definitely stalling the round with that. Manuel shakes it off, but it doesn't allow, but it doesn't change the fact that he just landed a huge combination. If he can land one more combination right at the end of this it fight, is over. it is over. Great fight from two debut fighters. And two debut guys. Here we go, all the way to the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after going the distance inside the island fights ring, the official scorecards read as follows: 30-27.
30, 27, and 29, 28. All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. In the red corner, Jason Mall.